We've got a text message question here. If you take your own life, do you go to heaven or hell? That's a charged question. There are some who teach that uh, to commit suicide is a sin of such caliber that it is to permanently uh, rid yourself of all promise or hope of eternal life. Now, I'll tell you this. God doesn't judge you based on your last deed. I'll say that. God, when he comes to sentencing you and judging you, does not judge you based on your last deed. That's, if, it, if it was that way, then your salvation was something you earned by your good works. If I had to be very careful uh, to, to never, ever sin and then die, then it was just all lost, then my salvation wasn't something given by Christ. And that's not salvation described in scriptures. It's given out as a free gift where your heart is changed from death to life, from captivity to freedom, and where you, where you pass from darkness to light and your redeemed life is breathed in you. Jesus said, no one can snatch you from my Father's hand. So uh, it is uh, inconsistent with the teaching of what salvation is to say that if you commit sin, and that lends itself to a party all you want, go to confession once a week, get, get cleared up, and then try and, and make sure you don't die without a, a confession or last rites where a priest can come, you can confess it, and then die, and you're good, absolved of your sin. That's not what the Bible teaches, is salvation. Now, our sanctification is supposed to stay current. We want to confess sins the moment we do them to keep a clean relationship with God. But that's for our progress. That's for our growth as sons and daughters. Salvation is not something that's lost by any last deed. If the last thing you did, of course, suicide is murder, so it is a sin. Be clear on that. And I certainly don't say that to make anyone who says, well, I'm a Christian, and I'm, I, you hear that? Great, I'm saved, I've said the prayer, I have did the thing, now I'm just going to go kill myself because life sucks so bad, and then I'm good, I'm going to go to heaven. I would also challenge you to say, if that's what you're doing in a, a premeditated way, uh, can you say that Christ is in your heart and leading your life, Right? The child of God hates it when they sin. We sin, we mess up, we make mistakes, but, but we certainly don't plan out sin. We're, we're looking to walk in a righteous way as much as we can. So no, I would say killing yourself does not send you to hell, but it is of no guarantee if you are actively seeking out and planning out sin with Christ supposedly living in your heart, it's hard to say. I was. Here's what suicide does. It just leaves a big question mark for everybody. I've done a lot of funerals. I've seen a lot of suicide funerals. They're the worst for everybody. It's so terrible. No one knows. No one, everyone's, everyone's hurting. Everyone's, everyone's, and sometimes that's the idea. I, there was one situation where you, this young man um, had called his dad into his room and said, Dad, dad comes in the room. I love you, and pulls the trigger of the gun uh, in his mouth. Now, he just severed his spinal cord and didn't die. It was just a quadriplegic when I went in the hospital room to pray with him and visit him and couldn't move anything because it didn't kill me. just... It just, um, it just rendered him immobile. But, but it just is pain and hurt and harm. So I would tell you, if you're struggling with those things and you're a child of God, call out to the body. That's what we're here for. We're here to help. We're here to pray for you, to walk with you through those things. Uh, but there is no pat answer other than no, suicide is not an unforgivable sin. All sin is forgivable except for dying without Christ in your heart. Uh, but the child of God, would he do that? Um, Ask for prayer, ask for help. Turn to the body.